Hello there Libras, welcome to your mid-March. There is, you know, that, that sense of, I almost feel like a long cherished dream. You're, you're still cradling it, you're still hanging on to it, you're still clinging on to it. Surprisingly, it doesn't indicate to me, you know, like strong motherhood vibes. Some of you could be in a position where you are pregnant, trying to get pregnant, um, trying to do some type of family planning trying to create the right environment so that um, you can have the, the right preconditions before getting married, before bringing a child into the picture. But uh, I definitely didn't see a child yet in her arms, but I feel like she's cradling it, meaning she's, um, she's preparing herself for that phase in her life, okay? Taking care of something, nurturing something, making herself a lot more uh, emotionally available or emotionally ready for that next big chapter in her life. When I saw that, I also feel as if there you're cradling a long cherished dream. It's it seems like there's something that you've been working really really hard towards and I feel for many of you, uh you have had to make adjustments to your expectations. Um, maybe you thought it was going to be one way and algae and you know the plants inside the aquarium to flourish, right? And um, I see a person kind of um, has her hand pressed against the front um, glass panel. And she's looking out. Okay, she's looking out. And when I saw this, I didn't really know what to make of it. But I feel almost like there's a situation that you're, you're getting very, very antsy about, like starting a, a new life, starting a new phase in your life, uh, no, wonder, no, no, no longer wanting to be in this controlled environment and wanting to move out of it and kind of like exert yourself, your energy, and, and apply your skills in the physical environment. So there's a concept here about feeling almost like our potential is not being met in a very small, restricted, confining, and possibly a controlled environment. And we want a little bit more to, you know, step up the game a little bit, have a little bit more fun, a little bit more excitement, a little bit more adventure in our lives, and to be able to just um, not be con restricted or constricted because you almost feel like your full potential is not going to be reached, okay? So it's almost like that whole concept about a small fish in a small pond. Like, um, you can thrive there, and it's fairly stable and fairly... Um, it, it's fairly decent. There's no, you know, qualms about it. There aren't any major problems. There aren't things that you can't overcome. So we have two sevens. Okay, so let me talk about the sevens. Seven is a very spiritual number. And uh, when I saw the, the whole aquarium, it's a, it's a very Neptunian type of energy. Water, the, the, the source of life, the source of sustenance, but also too much of it, you know, being in an aquarium, too much of it can drown out the noise and too much of it can feel a little bit like uh, wobbly okay um, and so I'm drawn to this number seven because I usually associate it with like a, a Neptunian energy dreams wishes aspirations the things that we really really pine after and really long for but we're not a it, it's 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 very elusive it's like you know trying to grasp sand in in your the palm of your hands. It, it slips away through the cracks. So I feel like it's a very illusory, um, evasive type of an energy. And I also feel like this might be something that is um, playing out in your psyche, where you're just like whatever situation you're in. It seems almost like you're not 100% happy, but you don't know where that source of dissatisfaction come from. You're not able to really pinpoint it just yet. You're not able to verbalize what it is. You're not able to give it a voice. As long as, I mean, as soon as you can, you know, say, okay, I'm not happy because of A, B, C, and D, then 
the work is already done because the next step is just about, you know, trying to find A, B, C, and D or trying to fix A, B, C, and D so that you can maintain equilibrium. But I feel like there's something that's really nagging at you that's kind of telling you um, there's something wrong here or I'm not 100% happy, I wish my life were, you know, a little bit more fulfilled, but you're not really sure exactly what that is, okay? And what I have here is the Seven of Cups. And um, I have as well the Seven of Wands, okay? This is like dreams, wishes, fantasies. This is the reality here with the Seven of Wands. The energy, the ambition, the drive to move things ahead, to oppose all opposition, to kind of like take this devil may care attitude and just, you know, go ahead with it, okay? So I feel like there is a situation where you might feel like you're being thwarted by other people. You might feel like you can't go against the, the herd because you might not fit in. You might not be accepted. You might not be able to convince other people as to your specific course of action. Okay? So I'm seeing, honestly, a lot of uh, people who might be in their 20s trying to, you know, like your, your friends are getting married, right? And um, you're just like, oh, that's a little bit too soon. Like, what do we know about love and commitment in our 20s? Like, how... How come some people can, you know, say I do when they haven't really explored life yet, when they're not even financially stable to have a family? I see some of you are, are thinking that. And then I'm also seeing some of you are kind of like, you know, the um, big fish in a small pond. You're outgrowing your environment. You want to branch out. You want to explore and see other territories, other areas, other work, other jobs opportunities other towns, other cities, other countries even. And all the people that you know, you know, they, they've lived there, they've gotten married in the same place, they still keep in touch with their high school friend. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? That, that life is not meant for everybody. And I feel like some of you are starting to get these uh, intuitive, like, nudges, like pulls and tugs at you in multiple directions. And you're just like... I know I'm longing for something, but I don't really know what it is. And I feel it's definitely playing out here in, first of all, this sense of family. Okay, we have here the Four of Wands. This is a marriage card and this is a family card. Some of you are in a relationship and what I'm seeing is you're, you're kind of torn. On the one hand, there's this family, really, really stable family type of a situation. There might be kids in the pink picture. There might be assets. There might be, you know, uh, joint assets, linked assets, financial uh, entanglements between you and another person. And then I almost feel like, on the other hand, some of you are looking around, exploring other options, romantic options. And you might have, like, a, another connection that you feel very very torn between and, and really so I, I feel like there's one person you're in a relationship with you're talking to another person and I feel like you feel like there's a lot more compatibility over here you feel like there is a lot more mutual understanding because the two of cups indicates a very strong soulmate type of a connection that we can't really deny um, we can try to avoid the other person, but inevitably, inevitably they uh, always cross our minds. They always cross our paths. So you don't even have to, you know, go out of your way to, to like pretend to bump into them. They're going to cross your paths no matter what. And then on the other hand, there's this relationship. So I feel like some of you are definitely torn between two people. I don't see infidelity. I just feel like your heart is divided between two people. This might be a very, you know, innocent com connection, like an innocent communication, innocent connection. It's built on friendship. It's built on a lot of uh, mutual trust. But, like, you're questioning where your loyalties lie. And you're also questioning as well. Um, you're also questioning as well. Uh, whether or not this was the right way to go. Like, should I have gotten married? Should I have stayed with this person? And I, I definitely feel like you sense there's something missing, but you can't. It's so frustrating. I'm, I'm feeling the frustration. There's something missing. 
We don't know what it is. If we knew what it was, then we could fix it. If we knew what's missing, we can go out into the world and try to find it. And I feel like, you know you have a really stable and a really good thing over here. But it's not meeting your needs 100%. And you know, air signs like to connect. And I feel like you're feeling as if you are outgrowing a situation or it's not intellectually stimulating enough for you anymore. It's, it's not that it's stale and stagnant. You just want a little bit more growth and a lot more expansion, okay? And then I'm also seeing people who might have recently um, gotten engaged, okay? You're with a soulmate for those who are recently engaged and, you know, you're planning your marriage, you're planning where the venue is going to take place, uh, how many people am I going to invite, where am I going to get the, the wedding dress or the tuxedo, you know, where's the money coming from. So itemizing and planning this really, really major, major event. So it seems like you're you're on to something and if you are recently engaged or if you're in a relationship I definitely feel like if you're recently engaged and planning your wedding or if you are have already planned your wedding and you know the big day is coming you're definitely with that major major soulmate connection there might even be distance between the two of you but it's gonna come together and it's gonna smooth itself out okay what I'm also seeing here is uh, this concept about this concept about like am I not is, is, it has nothing to do with am I capable am I attractive enough it has more to do with am I intelligent enough and I don't know why that is it could just be because you're an air sign but what I feel is there was a, a situation that you had a lot of um, it, it's like you put all your eggs in one basket to complete something okay I have here the knight of coins and this is, um, I, I feel like you're being stopped in your tracks. There isn't movement. There isn't forward uh, momentum. Okay, you're, you're just kind of like stuck in a specific place. And you are very trepidatious and apprehensive about making the next move. Because you've been through a lot. There was a situation that went haywire. It, it, it didn't pan out the way you were hoping. And I feel like it left you feeling a little bit dejected, like, am I on the right path? Is this the path that's still meant for me? It's definitely something that you feel would enhance your skills. It's something you feel would allow you to bring about a lot more financial stability back into your life. But on the other hand, you whatever the, the, the blockage was or whatever that obstacle was, I feel like it, it left such a sour taste in your mouth or it left a lot of scars and wounds and now you're questioning your sense of direction. You're questioning like, do I stay stuck on this hill scouting out the next territory or do I just go ahead with it and trust that everything's going to work out? I feel for many of you, there is definitely a, a little bit of an influence here when it comes to family, okay? Um, you know, mom and dad might have been like, this is an extreme example, but it did come up. Mom and dad might have been like professors, and they have really high expectations of you. So you grew up wanting to be, you know, at least get like a higher education the way that your mom and your dad did, because that was what was expected of you. And you know for a fact, like, I'm smart enough, you know, I'm, I'm going to be able to do it once I, it's just a matter of getting through high school, getting through college, getting through, getting my master's, getting the PhD. So it's, I, I see like a, a one, like singular path that you have set out for yourself. And for whatever reason, there were blockages, there were obstacles. And it's forcing you to take detours. And now, you know, a lot of the times when we keep rolling and rolling, then we don't lose momentum, right? But then when we encounter blockages one after the other, we kind of run out of steam. We kind of stop and question, is this still the right path for me? If it's the right path for me, why is it so hard? And I feel like it is still the right path for you. It was just really, really hard, mainly because many of you needed to be sure, to be sure of your conviction.
right? Um, it's it's really easy being um, like as a Libra, you kind of like oscillate between two things. Do I really want this or do I really want the other things? That sense of waffling, indecisiveness. I feel like these obstacles had to be put in place for you to clearly define, is this something that I really want? If it's not something that I really want, then what can I pursue instead of it? It, it forces you to really confront the situation, confronting yourself and really asking yourself, if this is something that I really, really, really want, because I feel like you went on this linear path because it was always expected of you. It's almost like doing things on autopilot because that was what you anticipated. That was what was expected of you and you never questioned it. And so now we're at this major crossroad here where I feel like all the, the obstacles, it really affected your, not so much your self-esteem, I don't see that. It affected your ability to kind of like be starry-eyed and, and, and maintaining your optimism because progress has been stopped. And now you're on this hill about to make a move. He, he's got a, um, a shield, okay? People only go to battle. Um, people only have shields when they go to battle, excuse me. Okay, so he, he's about to uh, approach some something, an unknown situation. So he's kind of like on top of the hill, the, the, the wind is kind of whizzing by, and he's just like, what do I do? And I feel like there is going to be a conversation coming into the picture, and it's really going to tell you, it, it, Somebody is coming in with a gesture here. This is a very, very delicate, gentle type of a person. A water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're, they're bringing you either a gift to really, really help you expand, okay? To really up your game. So they're bringing a gift either to kind of like, um, for example, um, I have a job opportunity at my place of employment. Do you, wanna, do you want me to put in a good word for you? Do you want to apply? Do you want me to send your resume up the chain of command, for example? And then I even have a, a water sign person, potentially, where there is a huge pregnancy vibe. Proposal, uh, engagement, okay? Like a surprise proposal. Something that will kind of blow your mind. Something very, very unexpected. And while you've been here looking and wondering, what's my next step? I feel like the next step is going to be decided for you through the actions of another person. It's almost like um, they move things along and then as a result, things start to move along for you. It's like you're, you're, you're whisked along with this person based on their actions. So I feel like somebody's coming in to really help you. They're paying compliments. They're giving you really soft words of encouragement to really help you build up your own ability to, you know, make the next move. They're restoring your sense of optimism so that you can kind of like close that chapter on the past. Whatever was re was really, really painful or it didn't come out the way that you wanted or you thought it was going to be one way, you worked really, really diligently to achieve it. And then it just... um unraveled at the last minute and then you've always been questioning you know if it's meant for me why is it so hard well it's meant for you it's supposed to be hard so that we become more sure every day that it is right for us and then we can you know wholeheartedly pursue it okay things are not meant to be taken lightly and we can't really waffle back and forth going through life um, half decided so I feel like you you're learning a major, major, major lesson here for, for many of you the past two, three years regarding commitment, regarding stick to itiveness, regarding your endurance, and regarding, you know, that, that ability to like stick things through to the very end. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing that here. Um, let me see here. So I have a lot of people that are coming in uh, this spread. And I almost feel like you you really cannot make decisions based on other people's expectations, okay? 
This is like standing up for your own truth, making your own decision, even though it might lead to a course of action that others don't really agree with. Okay? And then I'm also seeing this concept here, blocking people out. Okay? Standing on this leaf, not losing your balance, not being pulled or swayed by other people. I'm, I'm really seeing you. You need to really stand strong and stand proud when you make a decision because it's the right thing for you to do and you can't really let other people influence you, okay? It's like be the, the ruler of your own domain. You can be male or female watching this. It doesn't matter. Be the ruler of your domain. That's what it's really saying here. And it's saying you've been through a lot. You know what your heart wants. And I feel like many of you are still at that point where you're testing the, the waters. You're just like, there's something here. It's not 100% like perfect. But if you go ahead with it, you will start to learn. You will start to know exactly how the inner workings, the, the technicalities behind it, how things work. And then you will understand what element about it in particular that you don't like and then you can you know go ahead and try to fix it okay it's a lot about humility being able to say that I don't know but I'm going to get in there and I'm going to get my hands dirty looking at the nuts and bolts and try to find out what is broken or trying to figure out why it's not working or try to figure out what I can do to improve a situation so a lot of it is just really about the, the nitty-gritty details and having to, you know, really get your hands like even elbow deep in grease or in dirt and just, you know, trying to make a situation better. Okay, it's not about indecisiveness or, you know, um, scoping out, scouting out the territory, but not really doing anything about it. I feel like the universe is nudging you to get in there dig deep, get in there, and just start moving things for yourself because I feel like you're losing steam and you're losing momentum. Um, I'm seeing a, a big family reunion here. A really big family reunion. And um, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of like, um, I'm, I'm seeing a snippy energy of somebody around your environment where they've made it, they're very successful, they're very popular, they're like really successful. I have the magician. This is like the life of the party, but I feel like this, this spread is very much about people putting on airs, okay? Like putting on airs, um, feeling very, very snug, and I feel almost like they're looking at you and they're like, Libras, what have you accomplished? It's almost like that. You don't need to play this game and you don't need to prove yourself to anybody. But I'm seeing somebody who's probably very educated, very financially well off, and they're kind of a jerk. And I feel almost like they belittle the people around them. But I almost feel like there might be a personal vendetta in some capacity where they're just like, Libra, what have you done? Or, you know, what are you up to? You know how sometimes people ask us like, hey, what have you been up to? And they haven't seen us in a long time. They're very, very curious and they care about us. So they ask us these questions. But I feel like this person has a little bit of a forked tongue, like coming in with a little bit of facade, like, I haven't seen you in a while. What are you up to? Kind of trying to see where you're at professionally. Uh, financially to see if you are it, to see if you are a threat to them that's what it feels like to me and and you don't need to I, I feel like you you might have this person in a home environment also in a work environment but it's not somebody that's immediately around you I feel like they come and go and you don't really interact with them on a regular basis hence you know I haven't seen in you in a while what are you up to? So I'm, I'm getting that energy. Just be careful. Don't let this person, don't let this person corrode your self-esteem and especially don't let this person affect you. Okay. So let me talk about love. We have a lot of people here. You've got a lot of options and a lot of suitors. Uh, you could be married or single. It doesn't even matter. You have a lot of options. 
I see um, a very, very shy earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very shy. This is somebody that's dated his or her share of bad people. They've had um, relationship partners that might ha not have been very emotionally stable, okay? And so they're, they have a specific type now that they're trying to avoid. And they're, they're very drawn to you. They're drawn to your charisma. And they're drawn to the fact that you're very popular, very attractive. So they're very attractive to you. They're very attracted to you. They find you very attractive. Um, they find your charm just really endearing. They like the way that you look because I feel like he's looking this way at the Empress. And, you know, you're, you're like the type where you have really good manners. You have really good vocabulary. You have really good um, knowledge. This is somebody that is looking for a relationship and they see you and they're just like, this is the woman or the man I want to take home to my mom and dad, you know, but I definitely feel they also sense they've got competitors. There is a water sign here that they feel is interfering with them. Somebody got to you first. It's like... This person took way too long. Somebody got to you first. And now they're on the sidelines looking at your life and wishing that they were with you instead of this other person. Does that make sense? So I feel like there was a missed opportunity and the other person is still heavily, heavily thinking about you. Um, but either way, I see a earth energy and then also a very strong water vibe. So water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, there might be a very strong soul connection between you and this person, okay? Um, it's a situation where they really, they're, they're, they're very, very interested in you and they, um, they haven't really forgotten about you. So I don't know how long you've known this person, but they're trying everything, like they're trying to do everything exactly the way that they, they know that you would like just to make you happy. They're, they're trying everything in the book. They're trying, they're really trying. This person really, honestly, just 100% really dotes on you. They really love you and they're trying everything in the book to show you how devoted they are. And they want this, the whole matrimony, marriage, um, stability. There could be proposals as well. So I'm, I'm seeing like, you know, they see you as their soulmate. And there are some, you know, there, there are things that they're doing behind the scenes for to maintain the relationship that you might not have been cognizant of. And so I feel like this person is going above and beyond to be a really good relationship partner. And, you know... I don't see this energy a lot, but I feel like you've got somebody in your midst that is just phenomenally, like really very much interested in you. And um, yeah, so you have some, some suitors coming into the picture. I'm also seeing another person as well that you have your eyes on. And I feel like there's a distance. There's also this opposites attract type of energy, night and day, okay? The backgrounds indicate to me this is a like possibly a night scene and the day scene and i feel like you know you 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 are looking at this person you're mesmerized by them you're you're attracted to them as well but you also like that they've been through a lot but they never complain they've been through their fair share of struggles but they're so strong and they they keep moving forward they have this inner quiet silent strength about them that can be very very mesmerizing I don't know what sign they are but I feel like ooh, because you might have been surrounded by yes people okay I hope the reading is helpful um, I hope that it gives you you know insights or at least it's applicable to your situation right now I feel like you're definitely on the right path. You need to make a major move here or a major decision here, okay? But I feel like, you know, moving forward, things are going to be a lot smoother, all right? So take care of yourself, Libras. For those who are interested in a reading, um, I have included in the uh, description box a link to a psychic. She is based out of California. Her name is Bridget. She is phenomenal. 
So for those who haven't booked a reading with her, I highly recommend her. Okay, so the link is below if you're interested. I will talk to you soon. Take care.